delivery here today. Time saver recording. Uh, and uh, the, uh, got myself a uh, barber cord in 1901. Does all the uh, maintenance and stuff on the property. Beautiful coin, man. Can't stop looking at it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, but I got a coin. Not really sure what it is. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to put this away in my pocket for right now. But there you go, folks. Come check it out. Want to see it? You want you to get, get it? it it's right there. See it? Let's get it. Keep it oh, in the camera boy. view right here. Yep. For the, the viewers to see. wipe it off. This looks like a large scent. Keep it here. Oh boy. Up top. Birthday water. Amory? Yes, sir. Hey folks, Al from PA Coin. Um, heading out here, I just got done work. I'm gonna head out for an hour or two and uh, I might hit up the honey hole with my big coil uh, or that or I'll go across the way to uh, Farmstead again where I found the bell and the coin, 1788 coin. Uh, I'm gonna head out and uh, check that out and get back to you on the first dig. Okay. So like my third or fourth hole and this looks like a harmonica read it's bent in half i don't want to bend it back because it's gonna bust that's pretty cool find right near this tree somebody's sitting here in a harmonica and whatnot and i don't know just uh ended up in the ground here that's pretty cool it's a cool relic find awesome if i can bend it back that'd be awesome all right i'll catch you on the next one the uh, one of the old small building foundations here. I wasn't able to get in here because it was uh, late last summer or the summer before, and I didn't see this before. So this is interesting. I'm gonna look around. There's a lot of bottles here, big bottle dump. I'm seeing uh, lids and everything, as you can see there. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna look around in here a little bit, see if I can find any goodies. <laughs> old ketchup bottle. A bunch of bottles here. I'm gonna look around, explore a little bit. It's going to be a little tight in here with the metal detector, but give it a go. And I'll get back to you if I find something good. From over there where that property, where the house used to be, there's like a barn, hay barn. And uh, I'm back on this field. Out here today, it snowed really hard. I've gone over this area a number of times, and uh, I think I just popped a, looks like a penny. Hopefully it's a wheat at least. It certainly looks like a penny. Yeah, it's a Lincoln. Let's see if it's a, it's a weed. Nah, it's a memorial. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, one coin's better than nothing, huh? All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Better not get too close. Sounds like 10,000 of them back there. This is them birds. Holy crap. I'm like a little scared. All right, catch you on the next one. Down here, down the fields, quite a bit here. The dead coyotes over there in that corner. And uh, just pop this out. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'm just about to uh, clean it up here. Ah, oh, you know what? It looks like a bent, done up coin. Maybe not. I've said that before, and it was a piece of metal. Actually, it's a button that's bent. That's a shame. Damn. Pretty sure that's what it is. Let me clean it up and uh, get right back to you. I'm of a shotgun round. Once I started cleaning that off, man, I was like, oh, yeah. Firing pin. The center. Yep, that's all it was, folks. All right, catch you on the next one. See, this is what I love about metal detecting. I went off the field, the back field. I'm in the woods. Yeah, just looking around. There's an old stone wall right there i'm going to examine it a little further but i noticed something else in the woods 
Went on my way to it, found that in the dirt. That is an old headlight trim. And uh, I believe it belongs to that. That is freaking awesome. Part of a whole car, there's pieces of it everywhere. That is awesome, I'm gonna go over and check it out. Obviously it's gonna be too hard to metal detect anyway because of obvious reasons. That is cool. Somebody did some target practicing on this sucker. Just a little. Huh. It's the whole chassis, the whole frame, doors, steering wheel. Is, that whole, is this a Corvette? I can't tell. That's pretty nifty, man. Somebody dumped the whole car back here. Awesome. I'm not sure if that's a vet or not. Kind of looks like it. Maybe. There's parts everywhere. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. That's a big find. And that's always nice find in metal detecting. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I'm not really sure what kind of car it is. It certainly kind of looks like it has the bumper of a... No, nah, that's not a Corvette. I'm not really sure what that is. That's pretty cool, though. All right. Just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was awesome. I'm going to keep continue a little bit here and uh, see what I can find. Catch you on the next hole. I just dug about uh, four or five inches. It's very marshy here. It's the low side of the field, so it's really swampy. But it's pretty muddy and uh looks like I might have found part of a buckle. It certainly looks like it. That's pretty cool. That's neato. I think that's what that is. Let's see if the other part's in here somewhere. I'll go over the hole again and check it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a cool find. Alright. I'll get back to you on the next one, or if I find this other piece here. Okay. It was a very deep target. Barely got a ding on it, and uh, it's part of a harmonica reef. Read. That's a pretty cool find. I think that's what that is. Huh. It's two of them today. It's just a piece of it, though. I wish I could find the rest of it. I'm going to keep searching, and I'll get back to you on the next one. John, if I didn't find another piece of it, a couple feet away here from the yellow hole. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll find more of it. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, legs really hurting today, today and uh, swelling, so I'm going to get off my feet. I uh, found a couple of harmonica reeds and uh, uh, part of a buckle and uh, a memorial, Lincoln. Other than that, not too much other stuff. Just a bunch of junk, shotgun shells and rifle shells and you name it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The usual stuff that you have to dig. So I'm gonna head out for today. I was using the Nell coil today, so it's pretty heavy on my arm as well. So I was out here about an hour and a half. Not long. I might might hit it up tomorrow. It's gonna be a little cooler out tomorrow. Not as much humidity, so. We'll see how it goes. It's put the rain's supposed to hold out too again, so that's awesome. And uh, I'll get back to you. I might add this to the uh, the next day if I find something good. All right. Until then. This is why you pay attention to the road. And uh, this is why you don't keep your bucket of iron in the back of your trunk and then go off road, folks. All right. I'll get back to you.